Welcome back. Uh, as I was mentioned before, now that we have some filters that actually take a while to apply, see, we've got this delay, and we're, it'd be nice to have a spinner showing while uh, it's actually applying that effect. So let's go ahead and do that. To do that, we will go to the main storyboard, and first we'll position an activity view indicator uh, somewhere on there. So I always forget about that. I know it's activity, and as soon as I start typing that in, ah, that's what I want. So I grab that control, I'll place it in here. I'm going to place it near the top. I could place it in the middle. I like it near the top. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to pin it. So let's go to here and add our constraints. Zero, zero, zero. And there. So this means uh, you know, we want it to the top and then center between the two sides. So we'll add those two constraints. Um, we want it to hide when it's stopped, right? Um, and initially it's not animated, so we have to turn the animation on when we're ready to use it. Uh, next up, we want the, let's see, we need our view controller to have access to that thing. So we'll go to our storyboard again, we'll bring up the assistant view, uh, we'll switch over to our uh, view controller, there it is. Great. Now we're going to place an outlet in our view controller. So I hold down the control key, do the old drag. We'll call that the uh, buddy, the, the busy spinner. So we now have an outlet called a busy spinner, or we will. Great. Um, let's uh, click on this guy. Okay, so now we have the ability to turn this busy spinner on and off. Um, and uh, kind of the naive approach to this is at the beginning of our operation we want to turn the spinner on and at the end of operation we want to turn our spinner off. Now I want to make a change here. Um, I want to... actually I'll show you what I was saying. here we want to start animating and after we've done this long operation uh, we want to busy spinner we want to stop cool okay so that looks like it should work but there is a problem uh, and the problem is that uh, we start the spinner but then we, uh, you know, this thread is busy doing its image processing after we've started it. So the operating system has no chance to actually update the display while we've <laughs> asked for this animation. I'll, and I'll demonstrate. You'll see that it doesn't work. We basically don't see anything special happening. So I'll go here, our dither effect, go apply. I'm expecting to see a spinner and I don't see it and then it's done. It's like what what? Okay so we need to make things asynchronous. We need to start the spinner in this main thread of execution then we can um, queue up a request to actually do the background processing and then finally when all that's done we can stop it. So we need to do a couple things to uh, to make this all happen. First of all, I no longer want this to be a function that returns an image. I want it to be a function that will uh, do the image processing and then display the image. So I'm going to change it to, we're going to call it something different. We're going to call it um, show, actually apply, filter, and show. Right? And it'll not return an image, it'll just do it. And ba -ba. then we take our f we take our image and we do a two UI image on it. Cool. So now we can call this function from both of those places, this place and this place here. 
So that's just a little refactoring exercise. Now let's run it. I haven't done everything we need to do yet, but I just want to make sure everything's still running. Uh, it should work, but we shouldn't see the spinner quite yet. So it came up. We'll apply a filter. No spinner. Yeah, so we still need to do our background processing. So now, um, we want to, let's see, let's, this gets broken into three distinct parts. So um, we can start animating right away, but now we need to start some stuff in an asynchronous thread. So let's start by going uh, let background Q equals um, dispatch dispatch get global queue and we're going to do this one here where we pass in a quality of service indicator QOS okay so what's our quality of service this has to be a uh, QOS class background so yes we're we're identifying some work that's going to be done in the background we have no flags to speak of okay so now we can actually start writing our async code dispatch async okay we've created a background queue and we can pass that in and finally we need to pass in a block of code okay so now I'm just gonna grab this as a matter of fact oh, I'll grab the whole thing we're gonna transplant this whole thing into this block of code great uh, and oh a couple things uh, we've moved this is uh, a lambda and we've moved a bunch of code into it so we have to start saying if I say lambda I meant to closure self self and more of our self it's a very self-centric kind of thing <laughs> okay lastly okay and this should this is kind of important. So this this is going to be done in the background, right? So we grab our image, then we do our filters, and then we update the spinner and update the image view. Now these last two operations though are interacting with the foreground image, which is actually something you're not allowed to do in a background thread. If I run this, I'll get a runtime error, and I already know that. So I'm just going to, what we want to do is create another asynchronous thread that will kick off when we hit this section and in that case well, I'll start typing away let's see we want to do a dispatch async okay but in this case we want to run it on the main thread of execution so we do dispatch get is it main get thread or is it get main thread I always forget uh, I think it's get main. There it is, get main Q. That's what it is. So, okay, great. So this code can be copied into here. A little tidy up. Okay. And I'll just get this space out so it's a little easier to read that one too. Okay, see if you can follow along. Uh, the sacing stuff is cool but kinda mind warping sometimes. This function gets called. We start the spinner, okay? Uh, then we create an async thread, so this will be stuff that happens later. And then this function returns, okay? And then later, in the background, we start the image processing. So this image processing will get done in the background. And this is the same kind of thing. Uh, this gets done, then this gets done. And when, when this is done, we have another async thread. This is ready to go. Uh, this thread, okay, uh, 
after we've done this and after we've done this we create another thread and this one has to run in the foreground so that's why we have to do the get dispatch main queue uh, and once we're here we can do you know anything we can usually do in the main thread of execution so let's run this now and if we're lucky the spinner should spin so I'll click here I'll select the other eight colors we apply there's our spinner it's thinking and we're done okay so that seemed to have worked alright thank you very much and uh, we'll continue on in the next video